Shale from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. Today we're here with Al Lubel. How are you doing? Uh, on what level? Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I saw him like, you don't like being asked that, do you? Oh, that's right, you saw the Letterman thing? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, because of health reasons. You know, you don't really know how one is doing. Yeah. So, but uh, I guess I'm okay. I'm a little tired. I performed, I did my one-man show at 10.30 last night, and then uh, I was on a midnight show at the Caves also, performing, and I didn't get to sleep until like 5 in the morning. So I'm still a little uh, groggy. Yeah. Uh, but, but nice to be here. Good. So tell us about your show. It's called um, Ali Bell is Mentally Al. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think because I'm a little nuts. I was, uh, basically the show's about the fact I was very smothered by my mother, and I still haven't gotten over it. And uh, I haven't really grown up in a lot of ways. I mean, I don't have, never been married, never had any kids, don't have a girlfriend. I haven't done anything associated with adulthood. Yeah. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm in trouble. Yeah. Are you planning to do that? <laughs> <laughs> so have you performed at the Edinburgh Fringe before? Uh, never did. Never have. Yeah. So are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I Is think. it different to other places that you performed and things like that? Yeah, well, it's just bigger. I've been at like the Sydney Comedy Festival, Cape Town, Africa, South Africa. They're really good, but uh, this is so huge. I've never seen something so yeah. huge. And like, you get the feeling you're never going to be everywhere and see everything here. And it's just... And then they even have jets flying overhead at times. It's unbelievable. So you've been on the David Letterman By the way, today's my birthday. Today's your birthday? Yeah. Sorry, happy birthday. Why are you sorry? Oh, you're uh, sorry because you didn't I didn't know, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should have researched better. <laughs> right, no, okay. No, have I you got any big plans? Just, just, keep, just to live through it. I'd hate to die on my birthday. That would be weird. Yeah, that would be That great. would be my birthday and my death day. Yes, yes, I heard a bit about that as well. <laughs> I heard it on Letterman. Yeah, so what was it like, what's it like performing uh, sort of on TV in comparison to performing stand-up in a sort of live show? In a live show? Well, uh, it's more pressure, I think, on TV. It really shouldn't be, because it's still just performing. But, you know, you have, but the way I try to think of it is, you know, millions of people watching, but I don't think of it like that, because yeah. it's being taped. So while I'm doing it, millions aren't watching. Yeah. They're going to watch later. So I don't even think about the millions. I just think about the 500 of the studio audience, and they're enough to upset me. But, uh, but no, it is, it is more pressure to do television. But uh, ideally, I'd like to get to the point where it's just another thing, because that's the best way to, to be really at your best. You really can't be thinking about the pressure. You just yeah. have to just enjoy what you're doing. You were in Funny People as well, weren't you? Yeah, the movie Funny yeah. Well, you know, I was edited out. I was in the movie, but they edited out my little thing. But I was in the credits. Yeah. And in my act, I say my name a lot, so I guess I was still happy that Al Bell made it. Yeah. My name made it. I didn't make it. I'd almost rather my name makes it rather than me. I think I like my name more than myself. Yeah. So why should people come and see your show? Uh, that's a leading question. You're assuming I think they should come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully they go. <laughs> no, I, 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 I was just joking. People out there, I am joking. I would like, why should people come? I guess because this show is like a really introspective, I'd like to think it is, an introspective psychological journey into myself. And I like talking about myself, so I like putting my, you know, I was, took, I was a psychology major in college, and I like analyzing myself. So I think it's a way for people to kind of analyze themselves and, and without having to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll do it for myself, and they may be able to see themselves in me, and, and hopefully I do it in a funny way. Yeah. And so it's not only an instructive thing about psychology, but it's also funny, and hopefully people can see themselves in me. Great. So what have you got planned after the Fringe Festival for the next year or so? Uh, I'm just going to try to hold out to my next birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> have you got any no, sort of more TV stuff? Or lots of uh, gigs well, or I'd like to do uh, sets of TV. I've worked on spots for Letterman and uh, Conan O'Brien, so sending them into those yeah. shows. And I want to do this show. I've also written a movie about myself, and I want to start filming that. And uh, just uh, kind of like, uh, I'd like to do that. So I always like uh, Woody Allen and the movies he's made. He's, so I'd like to do something like that. Yeah. And your show is on at Just the Tonic at the Caves at 10.30? Yes. 10.30 every night until the 25th. Except it's off one night, thir the 13th. On the 13th. Yeah. Great. Thank right. you very much for coming and speaking to us. Thanks for having me. I'm Michelle. You're watching Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. Uh -huh.